Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon. We are going to be continuing our Sleeping Gods playthrough today. Uh, last time we played through the first third of the event deck, so from here on out we will be experiencing some moderately evil events uh, as compared to the mild ones. And um, we have kind of explored a lot of um, this area on this side, but not everything. Um, we need to eventually come back to 30. We didn't explore 18 or 216. Um, and we need to come back to 130. Either way, we've kind of pushed on over here and we're gonna take on some of uh, what's going on over here. So uh, we are starting a fresh new turn. Um, and so let's just go ahead and get started here. We were in the galley and that is probably one of the better places to be. I really could use some command though. So I'm looking, I don't have any command out. So, yep, let's go here to the sick bay. We'll gain three command. We will gain a card. Okay, so this one's actually pretty nice here. It's only gonna cost one, and it's gonna give us the ability to get rid of a lot of this low morale here. Um, okay. And um, I can heal somebody somewhere. Um, so let's just do Audrey. Yeah, I felt like I had more out there. Um, okay. All right, do I have anybody that has an ability just to remove, okay. So Marco, I have to pay one food, but then he can do this. So that's really actually not that bad. Um, otherwise, I could make soup. Um, oh, and I did figure out in um, the off, off camera that the tincture re recipe here is uh, two um, wood, essentially, two materials will create the tincture recipe. This is a former symbol for the materials and they just forgot to change it. They, they missed that in QC. So, but it's been confirmed by Ryan Lockett online that that is um, what that's for. So, um, all right, but we're actually not doing that bad. It's the low morale that we need to get through. So let's go ahead and uh, do our first moderate event. All right, flotsam drifts into the ship's path, a horde of crates lashed together. Steer away from the danger, Savvy 6, or recover the explosives, Savvy 10. Well, crash. Um, goodness, everybody's got low morale that's got Savvy. So I guess it's going to be... Mac over here. All right. So, see, I should, uh, again, I guess, I think I could have just put this out there at any point, but anyways, um, so Savvy 6, and I'm only at 1, but I got it. We passed. So, um, Place this card next to your adventure cards. You may discard it to deal two damage during combat. Okay. So we did that. that. That was for recovering the explosives. All we did was steer away from the danger. We didn't fail, so we get to continue on. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and seat this for one command under Laurent Lapont here. He's going to be our savvy guy. And... Um, then I am immediately going to pay one. Um, now here's just a trick. If it is command that's on um, this card, I'm pretty sure ability cards do not hold on to command. I think just adventure cards and hero boards hold on to command. So I believe I just simply take this and put it back into the supply. Um, and now I can remove one low morale I'm actually going to do it off of himself. So um, I believe I gain access to that um, on a regular basis, but I'll try not to overuse it right now. So, okay. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and explore 63 while we're here. Um, 
Yeah, it's the only only thing we really have to explore in this area, and then we'll move south and check some things out. So I really want to get a weapon before I go after 37 and 43, because I think there's some danger there. So, yeah, we could go here to the market, but I don't have a ton of money. I'm thinking coming up and around here is the best place to go. Okay, so 63 reads, if keyword raid, turn to 56. If keyword abandon, turn to 61 and a half. Well, we do have the keyword raid in our list here. It's the very first card we received. All right. So, turn to 56. You spot a village on the coast, a small settlement nestled against a pine forest. Smoke billows from the roofs of a few of the huts, and the wind carries with it a faint scream. These forests are infested with rat creatures, says Mac. Uh, watch for watch from the safety of the ship or land at the town's pier. All right, well, we want to figure this out, so let's land at the pier. Rats the size of humans, their fur slick and oily, run among... The village huts wielding savage tools. Some of the villagers fight the rats with wood axes, while more rat creatures prance with glee near the village edge, lighting straw roofs with torches. Okay, hurry to put out the fires, or we can fight the rats. Um, loot what you can in the chaos. Um, well, let's let's do combat here. Um, all right. Ooh, that's a level eleven. I think that it, the levels go from like 15 to 30, so I don't know if we're quite ready for this. We have no weapons. Um, this could get ugly here. But we are playing on normal, so if we all get defeated, you know, we just go back to Zakura trading post. Uh, strength 7, but Raphael here is fatigued, so he can't participate. Um... So yeah, I could, I could, uh, I could not, you do a recipe, I don't have what it takes to do a recipe really fast. Um, I could pay one food over here. Okay, so maybe we'll do that. Alright, so we'll have Marco pay a food, so we'll spend our vegetable to remove a fatigue gonna come right back here in a second though uh, and he gets to heal one person so there we go all right so now Raphael can do the strength 7 test so he gets his fatigue token right back again and we need a 4 or better here and we got a 2 so uh, I could make it a 3 and get to 6 but I needed strength 7 so I am going to spend this command on my gear, right? Yeah, on my gear to redraw. And there we go. Okay, so we got what we needed. And we passed. So 61-2. You put out the fire and chase the torch-bearing rats into the forest. A wearied man in a blood stained toga seeks you out you arrived just in time though i wish you'd helped us in the square the houses you saved were empty ah well you saved them and we thank you my brother took a stab wound to the shoulder i might might have been averted but you did your best i'm sure all right gain two coins one grain all right two coins one grain complete quest one note last hope is now liberated Okay, so this is the force. I need some tea. Somebody get me some tea from here. Uh, complete quest one, last hope is now liberated. In future actions, you may explore location 63 to visit the village and talk to the townspeople. Return to the ship. Okay, in future actions. All right, so let's see here. Where did quest one go? We've completed that one. And this is now last hope. All right, so I'm just gonna mark on my map here that, where are we? 63 is last hope. 
Okay. <clears throat> so I think as our next action, we're gonna search for some tea because I really don't wanna have to come back through here. All right. So second action, last hope. The edge of the village rests well within the tall trees of the forest. The towering pines might have given a sense of protection if not for the recent rat creature attack. Okay. Uh, explore the edge of the forest. Eat at the fish house. Uh, visit Mikra's temple where we have to pay one food. Um, <laughs> well, I don't really need to eat because I'm pretty healthy. I don't think that's going to help anything. Um, Mikra's temple. I wonder what Mikra's temple is. Um, that's probably what we want to do. Although, let's just explore the edge of the forest first. That's not going to cost us anything. All right. If keyword abysmal or maneuver. Let me just check. Nope. All right. You find a hut in the middle of the forest. A withered man greets you. Alo, I am Ulam, he says with a weary smile. You're those sailors from the raids. Thank you for what you did. Those demon rats have lived in the forest for years, but when they openly attacked our village, we were not prepared to defend ourselves. But I have another problem. My son went looking for pearls weeks ago and hasn't returned. I know where he went. A huge cave in a rocky island just south of the peninsula. Okay, a dangerous place where demons dwell. My son is greedy, and I could not stop him. I fear he's already dead. Please, I feel you're the only chance he has. Okay, dangerous place where demons dwell. Hmm. Ulam asks you to search for his son. Gain quest four. Go back to 63. All right. So, quest four. Abysmal. Rescue Ulam's son. Um, it's gone searching for pearls in a cave south of the peninsula of last time. Okay, so we can go back to 63 now. Um, I think let's visit Mikra's temple now, so I have to pay food. All right. Uh, and we go to 63.3. A woman with long braided hair teaches you how to make a tea. Perfect. Offering using honey and flower petals. This will help you enter an ancient shrine to Valard on the island to the west, she says, though few return from that place. You learn how to do that. Gain quest 16, go back to 63. Okay. All right, so shrine at the Temple of Last Hope. We learned how to make an offering, and according to our map, we wanted Keyword shrine, I think. Shrine and foam. Yeah. All right. So back to 63. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we might as well just um, finish out this Eat at the Fish House. Okay, pay one coin, uh, 63 one. You must try this gumbo, says the cook with a grin. It's my own recipe. I'll share it with you, though, if it's not too spicy for you. I'll share it with you, though, if it's not too spicy for you. Okay, restore two health, which is what I thought. We don't have any health to restore. Gain adventure card one. Spicy gumbo. Okay, so another recipe. Recipes are always handy, though. Um, so this is one of each, but it's recovering three fatigue and three health. So that's not that bad. It's almost identical to flapjacks. It is identical to flapjacks. It just takes a different set of stuff. So we'll add this to our recipe piles here. All right. So let me put these out of the way. Those are my two actions. So we're on to another turn here. And we definitely want to move over here. Um, all right, I'm going to gain to command, gain a card, and then we're going to decide. Um, okay, I am definitely going to discard this one to heal Raphael here. All right, um, okay. 
I will also uh, pay a command, right? No, let's wait on that. Yeah, let's wait. Okay, no, let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna pay a command to use Laurent Laponte's Inspire action to remove, who do we want to free up here? Plus two, plus one, plus two, hitting on two, hitting on three. I guess Kane in here. All right. Okay, another event. Blistering winds make it difficult to do anything. Minus one fate this turn, except in combat. Okay, so we want to travel first. So that's going to be just drawing a fate here. And so we got a two, which is fine. That doesn't change the outcome. All right, so we can travel one space. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. All right, so I have five uh, coins here. We could mark it action. We could also jump in here, but I would really like to heal up um, Mac before we get into any battles. And Marco Reyes here is already done his action he's the only one that can do that so let's yeah let's check out the market how how bad could it be so second action will be because this yeah that's not really helping if we get stuck having to do any skill tests so one two three four five six seven all right, so I have five coins, five money to spend. Studded leather vest. All right, equipment two. I don't think I need to attach that to anybody. Um, okay, moon spice. So this is actually really nice. This allows me to, for just a single grain, remove a single fatigue and remove a status. Vegetable pie, five fatigue six health and remove a status so that's even better um here we go all right we got some weapons the pan bow blow darts oh but these are all so expensive a lantern for one and chloroform may not place on enemy hearts hmm okay so this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna take these three. That's gonna be five total. Boom, boom, boom. But now I have plenty of options of ways that I can heal myself and lots of um, perception abilities here. So let me put you with the dog. And gosh, I'm running out of room here for my recipes. Got too many recipes. Okay. All right. So these go back to the bottom. I guess I need to start saving up my money, though, if I want to be able to purchase uh, a weapon. So. All right. That was my two actions. Traveled and um, did a market. So let's move on again. Um, I need to get a lot of yeah so let's go here to the quarters I can bring two back which I have exactly two out all right gain three and get a card okay that one's not bad Audrey would definitely be gaining that at some point or another okay um, so I think at this point I am going to Pay two to slot you here, boom, and pay one to activate Marco again, paying a food to recover this, and uh, I don't need to do a health. All right, but now we're good. Now I feel better about going in onto this island right here. All right, so we gotta do our event first. Broken biplane, a biplane makes a rough landing. The pilot asks for help. I'm from Texas originally, but I've made these isles my home. Help repair the airplane, craft eight, uh, or ignore the plane. 
minus one health, and gain a low morale token. Mm, I don't like that at all. Hmm. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay, I can always discard this. I don't have any craft. All right, so if I ignore the plane, I'm losing health and gaining a low morale. And I'm just so tired of these low morale. So I'm actually gonna do this on Laurent and Audrey for two. I can always discard this for three. So I'm needing a five here, which seems like a lot. And it's a two. So I will spend this command token on the gear to draw again, and it's another two. So I have failed. Um, so minus five health. I still gain a coin and a grain though. I believe. All right, um, but I gotta pass out minus five health to people. So uh, it's gotta start with these two. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so what I need is, yeah, some more command. Okay, I don't really like doing this, but we're gonna go ahead and take on 54 here and see what it says. All right, a keyword abysmal, which we have. All right, keyword abysmal. The sea rages, oh no, 54 one. The sea rages in the island's rocky jaws. Boulders scatter the approach like gravestones. Brave the rough seas in the rowboat or navigate the manticore closer. We need a savvy six. Um, but my savvy guy cannot do anything. I don't have any way, I don't have any command. Yeah, so let's just brave the rough seas in the rowboat. 161.5. All right, your rowboat smashes across the crags, injuring the crew. Minus three health, then turn to 161.1. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we got to pass out some health to people. So boom, boom, and boom. All right. The ocean roar gives way to the echo of dripping water. A giant door carved into the cavern rock opens and a creature emerges. You cannot see his face, but two eyes glow above a robe the color of blood and water. His dark face flickers like a candle made of shadow. So many visitors this month, he says in a deep, hollow voice. We're looking for a young man, you say. The creature chuckles, his face flashing with malice. Yes, he was taking my pearls, but he makes good conversation and I'd bore without him. All the other souls have lost my interest. Would you like to come and see him? Inside the doors, Ulam's son sits chained to the floor amid a pile of bones, his eyes pleading, face sunken and pale. He seems well, don't you think? The creature's face twists into a cruel smile. Why not leave him here? I can make a fair trade. All right. Refuse or attempt to negotiate um, the release of the prisoner or combat or accept his offer. Um, so... Psh, Combat 16, 17, 18, and 19 on a level 16. So that's worse than the rats. But um, I really don't like thinking that I could negotiate with him. Um, so yeah, let's just do this. Let's figure this out. So going into combat, ladies and gentlemen, 16, 17, 18, and 19, level 16. Combat. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 
All right, let's do this. Ashen Gatekeeper. Hmm. This could be my first defeat here. Skeleton Warrior. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. See, I still think it should go like this. Boom, 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 boom. 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. All right, seven, five, five, four. Okay. Two, two, one, three plus. All right. So where are my, here's my command. Let me get my synergy tokens ready. Okay. All right, so who do we want to start with here? Um, I think we want it to be Raphael here. So let's start with Raphael. He's hitting on a three plus, um, and we are gonna start with, what do we want to start with here? Since he's hitting on a three plus, odds are I can hit this guy pretty well and go this way with him. Although this does not leave a lot to be desired. He's only hitting for two. Um, even if this crew member misses, they deal damage first. Three, hitting twice. Maybe we want to change this. All right, let's actually start with... Um, Okay, yeah, let's start with Sophia Odessa. She's gonna be going after with her rifle. She's got starting two, but can hit for four. So we just need a two here. All right, three. So she's gonna hit for four. Yeah, that's all we can do here. Okay, so get some tokens out here now she can get rid of his wings so she can go one two three four all right so he's gonna hit back for three she's blocking one of those so she takes two damage, all right, but she got her synergy out, so she can pass along her synergy token to Raphael here. All right, perfect. So Raphael, yeah, this is what I wanted. So Raphael's gonna take a shot at this guy here. Uh, he's at uh, three, so he just needs to get to five. So he got it, boom. And so he's hitting for two. Um, yeah, I don't have the command to add to, add to this. Um, yeah. So let's, yeah. Do I want to discard one of his things to make it three? Because then I can go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, let's do it. This is what. This is why we stack these up. Um, so boom, boom. Oh no, this is three. Yeah. So never mind. We just have to stop there. Okay. All right. But we spent this synergy token because we went crockeyed, and he takes one point of damage back. His hammer doesn't block anything. So there we go. All right. But we put one, so he's going to give out his synergy token. All right, so we can go over here and hmm. Yeah, let's do this.
Yeah, we'll give it to him. We'll have her take another shot at... Um, oh, and she should have taken one extra damage on the counterattack. So there we go. But he's given her two blocks, so she's going to go after the Infested Eye again. She's at two accuracy, six definitely hit. All right, so she's hitting for four again. Um... So yeah, it pains me to do this, but one, two, three, four. All right, so she it's only hitting back for two, but she can spend this to not take any damage. Hmm. She's gonna hit for three. Uh, do we have anybody that hits for three? Kanan here. But we need... He's only at plus one. Hmm. Oh, I need to put a thing here. Put a thing back on you. Hmm. Do I risk it? I only need a three. If I miss, I can still take him out. Okay. All right. So we're going to have Kanan go in an attempt to um, hit. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to be hitting this guy. So I need a four. Or better. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Boom, two. All right, so it only gets me up to three. So I am going to miss. So it gets to hit me first for three. One, two, three. Wait, I do have a block. So only for two, and then I get to hit him for one. So yeah, let's just cover that up. Okay. All right, so we've spent all our command. I now need to pass out two damage here. So I actually want to put it one there, one there. Two damage from the Skeleton Haunter. Um, so we'll go here. Uh, just one damage from the Skeleton Warrior. So we'll go here. And three, six damage from, ooh, I'm running out of damage tokens here. All right, um, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see, let's give you two, you one, you one, you one, and you one. Okay. All right, but also we take a low morale and a low morale here. Another low morale. So one, two, three low morales. Anything else? Yeah, not everything else is covered up. Oops, I dropped my token. All right. Goodness me. Low morale, low morale, low morale. Okay. Almost everybody's low morale. I definitely bit off more than I could chew here. And I'm out of hit points. All right, but I get to gather these cubes back up. And I think we definitely want to start with Raphael here, who can be hitting for three. Yeah, so he's at a three plus. I'm gonna go after this warrior here. Um, yeah, so we're at three, I need to get to five, boom, there's all the high numbers. All right, so I'm hitting for three damage now. So one, two, three. All right, so this guy is done. Boom, 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 boom. No counterattack. 
All right, so remove him and we slide these guys in like so. Okay, and did I do a synergy there? I don't think I did, no. All right, so I'm not passing out my synergy token to anybody, but that's fine. We're gonna go with Sophia Odessa next. She is hitting for two, uh, needs to get to five, right? Yes. All right, so she got it. Boom, so she's going to go one, two, three, yeah, four. So she can't really do anything else. This guy covers up, slide over. Okay, did she, she did hit a synergy token. So she will give her synergy token to, let's see. Where'd her synergy token go? Uh, Mac. All right, so Mac's gonna go next. And so Mac is gonna go after the Ashen Gatekeeper. She's already at four plus. Yeah, I don't have a combat to hit, so she gets to six. Oh no. Um, is there anything else I can do to get one more combat point? Hold on. I don't think so. Um, Hold on, where's combat? Combat setup, combat rounds. Attacking, draw fate and add the number of weapons accuracy compared to the normal. If equal to or greater than the defense, the attacks hits, otherwise it misses. Uh, no, it doesn't say. All right, so yeah, I think he's hitting me back for six, which is going to Knock her out. That's three damage went to her, so I need to put two more elsewhere. Boom, boom. Okay. But I do get to put one point of damage on him. So where do we want to put it? Yeah, I'm thinking right there. All right. So then I guess what we'll do is go with Raphael here. He's going to go after um, the Infested Eye, which he pretty much can't fail. Okay, and he's hitting for three. So he can go one, two, three. So that pushed across, took out the eye. All right, and that was the last one. So he gets to come out and he does three points of damage to everyone. So let's give Greg one here, uh, Raphael one, and Audrey one. And he's gonna give us a low morale token, which I don't think I have any left. Nope. I've got one left. All right, so who gets this? Mac does. All right, let's suffer through this final round and see if we can do this. Uh, so Mac's out. We can't use Mac. Um, so it's really going to come down to myself and Sophia Odessa, I guess, who also doesn't really have a great... Sumi could get there, but she's going to take minus one. We have to discard this to get the five, but that might be what it takes. So, okay. But let's start with Raphael here. So he's at a three. We need to get to seven. And that's another three. So we're going to miss. He gets to hit us for three. And that is going to do us in with one extra point of damage. It has to go on somebody. Boom. Okay. So I guess we're going to go with Kasumi now. She's going to um, discard this card. So she's at five now. All right. She got exactly to seven. So she's doing just two points of damage. 
Um, boom. All right, but then he's hitting back for three, which is going to knock her out. Where one extra point of splash damage needs to go somewhere. So this guy's literally just taking us out one by one. Okay, um, she did gain her synergy token though. And wait, where did Raphael go? Raphael missed, but he still gets to put a thing out. But yeah, I kind of wanted to have gone there, so. Okay, no synergy token. But Kasumi did put her synergy token out, so we get to use that one. All right, so she's going to give a plus one to somebody. Let's give it to one, two, three, um, four. So he doesn't need it. Who's got the best chance of hitting? Probably Greg Little here. Or Sophia Odessa. Two and two. Um, all right. So we'll have Greg go. He's at two. We need to get to uh, seven, so we need a five. That's definitely not happening. So he is going to take three points of damage, which is going to be him knocked out. Boom, boom. Um, so one, two, I think I need to put three more splash damage out somewhere. One, two, three. Okay. All right, but he gets to hit someone. So we'll go here and he gets his synergy token to go somewhere. Um, I don't know what this means, but literally Captain Sophia Odessa is the last one remaining that can do anything here. So, um, she needs to make her final attempt, and, um, yeah, let's see here. She's a two, she needs a five, she missed, so he's going to knock her out. Um, that's going to be four more, so that's going to knock him out, him out him out so literally we lost everybody we were defeated but with her dying breath she's gonna knock this guy out all right so oh but she was blocking for one so actually we're not i think laurent lapont is gonna steer us out of here literally with everybody else dying underneath the ship okay all right so those guys are all done Let's read what happens. Um, 161.2. That was brutal. Chains broken. Ulam's son hobbles to his boat, still tied near the back of the cave. Was he ever planning to let you leave, you ask? Not with this, that's certain. He smiles and hands you a stone that flickers with a dark fire. For my freedom. He bows and sets off into the sea. Ulam's son thanks you. Gain five coins, four XP. All right, so a little bit of a payoff here. Four XP. One, two, three, four. And um, where were we? Adventure card 48, which I believe is our first totem here. All right, so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're looking for. If you don't want to have any spoilers, turn away now. Three, two, one, you've been warned. Stone of Fitness, right? Yeah, Stone of Fitness. Complete Quest 4 and gain Quest 103. Return to the ship. All right, so the Stone of Fitness, remove a combat token from a crew member and use it again. Three command, though. Wow. Okay. So, that is a heck of a totem. Oh, you know what? I My singing necklace, I should have gained two command, which maybe would have helped in all this, but maybe not. All right. Um, okay. So we are very beaten up. I'm pretty sure that was our first action. 
So we are returning to the ship, um, and we need to get ourselves to port to heal up. So uh, I'm going to take a travel action. Four. All right, so that's going to get us exactly to traveling two. So check, 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 one, check, 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 two. Zakura Trading Post. All right. So that's it. I can't take any more actions, so I have to survive through one event round here. Um, we definitely need to heal some people. Um, so I guess <laughs> here, I'm going to gain a card. All right. And three command. One, two, three. And somebody gets to heal something somewhere. So... Um, yeah, I mean, it really doesn't even matter. Everybody's everybody's full up. So, all right, Raphael's no longer dead, dead to the world. All right, event. A strange purple mold is spreading fast. Get rid of the rotten food. Lose two food. Gain one fatigue, or ignore it. All right, but what if I don't have two food? Place this card next to the shipboard until you reshuffle the event deck. Each time you cook a recipe, draw fate one through two, gain one weakened. Okay, well, I don't have two food, so I guess I have to deal with this. Um, hopefully I remember that it's over there. Um, we're done with that. Ooh, and I almost forgot I needed to gain quest 103. All right, maneuver. We visited the shadowy creature and found Ulm's son. Okay. All right. So, let's see here. Um, all right, so we got through our ship action. We got through our event. So now you guys get to see what a port action looks like. Okay, so for four, I can take a fatigue off of each person and two health off of each person. Or I can spend one, two, three, four, five, six, just about spend that. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably the better thing. So I'm going to spend all my money here, six money, and I can heal six people completely. So let's heal Raphael. Let's heal, who else can heal? Uh, Marco. Okay, let's heal Captain Odessa. Max, that was one, two, three, four. Let's heal Kasumi. And... Technically Laurent is not, he's not dead. So who do we want? Kanan, maybe? Yeah. And Kanan. All right. So that was $6 well spent. Um, I don't need to repair the ship at all. I've kept my ship out of trouble. Um, so now I would love to be able to spend $4 at the inn to do that. Um, I wish there was a way to gain a vegetable. Okay, but I also want to, um, <clears throat> I have five XP that's burning a hole in my pocket. So let me just check my reference sheet here and figure out how that works. Um, Port, spend XP. You may spend XP to purchase level cards for any crew members. Keep track of XP on the journey log sheet and cross off or mark when you spend them to buy level cards. When you buy a level card, immediately equip it to the associated crew member where it remains for the rest of the campaign. Level cards do not count. So I guess I just get to look through them all. So there's quite a stack here. Um, 
obviously I'm only going to be able to afford a certain amount of them, but let's just kind of give you a smattering of what we've got here. So like this guy here, Marco would allow me to remove one low morale from a crew member when I use the deck, which is up here. Um, here's another thing that's gaining two command at the start of combat. Here's a great one for Raphael. Uh, gains, if he gets five plus on a fate draw, he gets to deal one extra damage and gains a block. Here's gain one command when you use the bridge. That one's nice. Ooh, I do like this one though. With her saber, she's getting plus one, so she would become a five with one block, hitting on two. So that's that's okay. Plus two with his pistol, but I can't afford these two. Okay. All right, uh, rare catch. When you your first crew ability, draw fate one through three, gain plus one meat. Uh, when a player cooks a recipe, will restore one extra health. If Kasumi misses, or at the end of combat, restore one health to any crew member with zero health. Okay, so these are the ones I've seen the best. I can't afford this one either, so let's look at this one here. Um, Low morale is definitely an issue for me, but keeping Raphael in his strength position has been very helpful. Um, gaining command has been a good thing too, but I don't foresee myself using the bridge anytime soon. Um, so I think what we're gonna do here is actually and use the deck, but I don't go to the deck that often. So I think we're gonna go with the brawling from Raphael here. All right, so it's gonna give him another strength symbol. So he's back up to three. This will immediately kind of be tucked away somewhere nearby. We're gonna tuck it like this, in case he does come across a weapon. All right, so there we go. There's that, boom, boom. Uh, actually, this can go over here yeah that's good I like that adrenaline and brawling he's our beefy beefy guy okay so I spent four of our XP one two three four all right and that is it for our port phase I'm kind of out of money at the moment so I really can't go back in there um, what else do we want to do here? The gain of food there. But that's a meat. Spicy gumbo. Gain of grain. Hmm. Tincture would be good. Yeah, I kind of need to be able to come across some grain or some... Uh, and what did I need? I needed to have food or something when I came back here. Rotten. I don't have the keyword rotten. Hmm. Okay, how much more do we have in this? All right, two more rounds. So, I can explore, I can travel. And spend some command here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I'm going to spend a command to make some moon spice. 
spend this that allows me to remove a fatigue and a status so we're gonna go here and here um and then i'm going to travel because we never looked at 216 so my second action is going to be to travel we got a three which is fine we only needed to go one round chugga, 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 chugga. right to there and so we have to do oh wait before we do that i didn't want to i didn't mean to pay to slot this card here so there we go um so she's got one two we need to pass a five skill check here and we only got a two so four but i can activate oobzon right yeah oobzon gives me an extra cunning symbol so i've passed all right and so that was my two actions all right and we needed to give kasumi her fatigue token back okay all right, what I really need to do is find some food. So I need some vegetables, some grain, something along those lines. All right, um, so let us take another action here. Um, who do we want to, do we need to remove some stuff off of people? Uh, do we need to go to the bridge, the sick bay, the galley? Yeah, I'm thinking the galley. All right, so two, a card. Ooh, I do like that one. So I will be putting this one back away to remove somebody's fatigue. And it's going to be Kasumi's because she's kind of helpful. All right. Okay, so let's do another event. Do I want to add this to Raphael first? Yes, he is just now a strength beast. So boom, so he's rocking four strength. All right, now let's do our event. Pipe clogged, all right, ongoing. Minus one fate when traveling. Action, perform a craft six challenge. If you succeed, discard this card and gain one XP. Okay. So that's not too bad, actually. So, minus one fate when traveling. All right. Um, let's see here. Each time you cook a recipe, I haven't cooked a recipe yet. All right. So... Yeah, I definitely want to get this under Audrey at some point, but I want to save this command. So let's go ahead and explore 216, see what we got. All right, if keyword mail, which do we have keyword mail? No. I do have keyword foam now, though. So maybe I should have traveled back over here. Uh, okay. Um, you spy a broken canoe and a handful of weather-worn crates on the beach. As you step from the rowboat to investigate, a bear-sized black lizard belches a fireball at you. Try to fight off the lizard. Flee back to the ship. Try to grab some of the crates and escape. Um, I don't really want to get into another fight. I want what's in the crates. So 164.2. 164.2. The lizard spews a fireball at the canoe, which erupts into flame, burning Gregory. Okay, well, Gregory's already full health, or defeated. You barely manage to grab one of the crates and escape, fighting off the lizard as it scratches the rowboat's gunwale with frantic claws. Gain adventure card 44. Uh, return to the ship okay well that was pretty bogus what do we need mail all right um so let me mark mail and that was minus four health to gregory who's already defeated 
and gain a good adventure card 44 return to the ship and I need mail at this location Beer, finally a weapon. Nice. Who can we give this to? Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. Actually, it's not that great of a weapon, but could be Marco's frying pan. All right, or LaPont's Club. That's probably who it's gonna go to. All right, so let's give LaPont the Rapier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. All right, um, so that was 216. That was really kind of a bust. Did we do 30 while we were here? Did we check out 30 already? Just kind of gonna peek at the header just to see maybe I should be crossing these off on my map that would be helpful okay now that's the one where we need keyword rotten but I don't think we have rotten no okay yeah I did write that down all right, so I guess let's, I don't have any money to go to port. I was hoping to get some supplies, some food. So let's just try and come back over here. Um, so we're gonna do a travel action, which is going to be, oh, let's see here. Minus one fate when traveling, okay. Well, I guess before we do that, we will pay our one command to tuck this under Audrey. Oh, but Audrey can't do the challenge six yet, but that's fine. All right, so we are just going to travel with our minus one fate. We got five, four, but that's all we needed to chug two back here. Chug, 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 chug. And that is our second action. So... What am I doing with this? Is this mine? Why was this here? Oh, I'm gonna take it. All right, I uh, can't go to the galley again. I've got a fair number of stuff out there. One, two, three, four. So I guess we're gonna go to the bridge. Yeah. No. Let's go to the sick bay. I want more command. So let's draw a card. Ooh. Three command. One, two, three. We already have adrenaline. And um, now see, I could slot this in place of that one to get the one out of the deck, but I really don't want to waste two command on that. So, um, and we get to heal someone up. Let's heal up Laurent. Oh, see, Audrey can't do anything anyway. She's knocked out. So I guess at some point, actually, I should heal her up. So let's put let's put one back on Laurent and heal her up instead. All right, so she's back with us now. Okay, event. So this is our last medium event. A coral nest, a delicate nest of glittering serpent eggs rests below the waves. Steal the eggs, cunning six. All right, gain two meat, perfect. So. Kazumi is our uh, cunning expert, so she's starting with two. We need four or better, and that's just a one. So, let me see here. What can we do to help this? Um, yeah, I guess just gear to redraw. 
All right, so we still need four. All right, there we go. Okay, so we gained two meat, which is pretty good. Pretty close to being able to make soup, I guess. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, soup would be helpful. Okay. Um, all right, three of anything. Okay, so yeah. We're done with this. And now let's go to 174 with the keyword foam in hand. All right, if keyword foam turn to 174.3. Clams are plentiful on this foamy bay. Gather clams, gain one meat, return to the ship. Okay, well, there we go. Gain one meat, return to the ship. Okay, um, all right. So that was kind of a waste. Is that it? I, do I, I don't, so I don't give up the foam keyword. It didn't tell me to give up the foam keyword, which is interesting. So I can just keep coming back here to get a free meat. 174.3, 174.3. Three. Oh, no, wait. There's a B. It's just over on the next line. Search the nearby caves. Uh, unavailable if keyword pinstripe. Okay, yeah, let's search the caves. I think that's what we came for. 174.2. In the cave opening are the remnants of a shelter. As you enter, a handsome corpse in a pinstripe suit hangs from a rock with a bony smile on his cracked jaw. A sign on the makeshift stone table in front of him reads, Take only one. As the fabulous host, he must have been in life. As the fabulous host, he must have been in life. He's left a pile of treasure for you. Respect the dead man's request. Take more than your share. Um, yeah, I think we should be respectful. I don't really feel like getting cursed here. So 169. All right, draw from the market deck until you reveal a card that costs five or fewer coins. Keep it and return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Gain quest 106, return to the ship. Okay, so five or less. Boom, that's five or less. It's not that great of a thing, but... So who's got, anyone got plus one on their card? Yeah, but Captain Sophia Odessa's already hitting on this. Hmm. This would be taking away that. I guess give it to Marco or Audrey. Yeah, we're gonna give it down here to Audrey. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Um. And then what was it? Gain quest 106. Hold on, I lost my lost my spot. I oh, know it was 169. Where am I? Return to the ship. Is there anything behind it? No. Okay, so gain quest 106. I still haven't lost foam. Which technically that should have been two actions. So that'll just be my two actions. Because uh, I want the food. Pinstripe. All right. We met a handsome skeleton with a pile of treasures. Okay. But I still didn't have to remove the word keyword foam. So I can technically keep foam and always come back here for a free meat if I'm passing by. All right. So before we do anything else, I'm going to spend one command to make soup. Um, here's my three meat. I get to remove three fatigue. So one, two, three. We'll do it that way. So everybody's ready. And one status token, we will remove Audrey. All right. Um, no, one low morale. Three fatigue, one low morale. And then we will attempt a cunning six test to get rid of that uh, pipe clog. Uh, so she's at two. There's five. So we passed. So we can get rid of uh, this card now. 
All right, we still have the Rotten Supplies, which we should have drawn a fate card for. Okay, so that's another five. So I actually should have drawn the first five when I made the soup, but um, we're good. Nobody's weakened. And we're about to run through um, this for the first time. So what I'm going to do here is probably shuffle this up off camera. Um, so I'm not doing it next time. But anyways, we are again, we've made it through two thirds of the first round of our event deck. Um, I have one totem in hand, the Stone of Fitness. So I'm feeling a little bit better, but I also haven't even left this map yet. So obviously there is a ton more to explore. Um, I cannot imagine this finishing this game in 20 hours. I've already put, you know, two hours in and I've only come across one totem. So um, anyways, to be continued, if you're enjoying these videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.